Greg Tobin, everybody. What if I'm awful? Then you're all gonna feel stupid. <laughs> Guys. I don't know if you know this, but uh, the other day was the uh, State of the Union, which is when the President, uh, Obama, that's cool, he goes out and he, uh, he addresses the nation and tells them what he's gonna do. And uh, he said that, and like all those recent uh, shooting tragedies, um, he was going to curb some of the uh, gun laws, and which is cool, but I want to know how he plans on ripping them off my arms. <laughs> <laughs> they're, uh, they're stuck on there. <laughs> hey, uh, it's Valentine's Day, guys. Did anyone come here with a date? <laughs> yeah, whatever. Whatever, you big old couples. I came alone, all right? And then I showed up here by myself. <laughs> that wasn't even that funny. Uh, guys, I've been working really hard to try and make a girl faint. I don't know if you know this, but there was a point in history when men used to be so manly that women would lose consciousness. <laughs> and I wanna, I wanna do that again. Like, I wanna be able to like, how many Ed Hardy shirts and rosaries do I have to wear before bitches start dropping? <laughs> uh, those are encouraged notes from my mom, so I have to read them in between each other. <laughs> um, yeah, everyone, any, ever ordered a pizza before? Awkward, isn't it? I hate it. I hate having to call it up. It's always like having sex for the first time again. I should point out that I'm a virgin, so I have no idea what I'm talking about, but stay with me. So you, you, like, you call up and you don't know who you're going to get. It could be anyone. It could be a Puerto Rican guy. It could be like, you want to work on a pizza? I don't know why I did a French accent there. That wasn't Puerto Rican. Uh, and then you got to be like, hey, I'm, I'm Greg. Hi. Who are you? I don't know. You're a pizza girl. And then she's got to like take you through the process like, oh no, yeah, just uh, or, or your, or your toppings. <laughs> and then like after that she like ex-girlfriends you like, do you want to come pick it up? Do you want me to drop it off? Like, oh, <laughs> how do you want this to go? <laughs> I don't know. I guess I'm really lonely. I guess I'm lonely. I don't know. My parents have a lot of sayings, you guys probably have this too, like, you're a failure! <laughs> don't, don't count your chickens before you hatch, you're gonna shame the family. So. And they also say, like, parent things to me a lot, like, oh, you kids get away with things we never could have. Which leads me to believe my parents are failed serial killers. <laughs> and they're just taking their rage out on a younger generation who's better at it. I don't know. <laughs> I guess I'm lonely. I'm just, I'm lonely. I don't know. <laughs> the other day, I was watching a video um, about this woman giving birth. I should clarify. I wasn't watching this for leisure. I, uh, I'm in a nursing program, and yeah, I don't know if there's any other nurse. And a lot of you guys be like, oh yeah, lots of girls. Not really. It's more of like a petting zoo. Like, you can look, but if you jump the fence and steal one of those animals, you'll go to jail. <laughs> To society, I guess, I don't know. Um, but anyway, this woman was giving birth, and I was terrified. Ah, she was screaming, and she was like, she, it wasn't like a normal, like, it was like she was leaned up against the wall, and there was like this like alien uterus thing dangling at the bottom of her. I was like, man, I am never giving birth. That is, I was completely turned off. I never. I don't know, I'm lonely, I guess. Recently, after the Christmas break, a lot of my friends got laid off from their jobs. And it was really depressing to hear them being like, Oh yeah, man, I got, I got laid off, now I gotta go find a new job. And I'm like, you know, if you just, if you took the off part away from that statement, everything's fine. Huh? I'm getting laid, he's getting laid, the ugly guy in accounting's getting laid, huh? But like, you can't just change words and make them reality, that's not a thing. 
<laughs> Might be because I'm lonely, I don't know. <laughs> I gotta do impressions in one sec. <laughs> I gotta do that. <laughs> uh, so, uh, anyone here not have a date tonight? By round of applause? Yeah! Alright. I got some cheesy pickup lines for you to use. <laughs> But you also have to be able to do them in certain character voices. So, here's uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. <clears throat> Come with me if you want to love. Give <laughs> relaxed kisses. If you like, if you're into weird shit. I mean. <laughs> here's uh, Bill Clinton. <clears throat> hey, you. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> And, I don't know, I'll throw in a Smeagol, I guess. Oh, you're so bright. He wants you. Thanks for being here.